Hello everyone, we will be discussing the common network problems and their solutions. Okay, uh, the first common network error that we will be encountering will be unable to connect to the internet. So its description is users cannot connect to the internet. Second, getting an error message, unable to connect to the internet. Third, getting an error, this site can't be reached. And the last is, try reloading the page, checking the connection, checking the proxy and the firewall. Okay, to solve the issue, first, we need to verify the physical integrity of the network connection. So to verify the physical integrity, first, we need to check the cable connections. Check if the cable is connected from your router. Second, check your router check if the power is on, if it has a signal, whether it is strong, or if the light is blinking. Then after checking the physical integrity of our network connection and the issue hasn't been resolved, go to command prompt and do the IP config backslash all. Check that the IP address, default gateway, and subnet mask are all connected. Or correct so after checking if the IP address default gateway and subnet mask are all correct and they are not make modification on it usually the issue will be resolved if the issue hasn't been resolved you can also um, go to the website I indicated here because we need to continue the troubleshooting process usually if after doing this troubleshooting the issue should be resolved and you should be able to log into your network next common issue in our network connection is the network is unreachable so the description is the user attempts to connect to a host outside the local area network so the LAN, and cannot establish the connection both hosts are known to be set up so the common cause of this error is the local network hardware interface is down. If the remote interface is down, the error message connection refused is returned. Second, the, let the local network hardware interface is up, but the internet address associated with it is incorrect. The interface is on a network that is different from the one for which it was intended. Third, the route was deleted for the local interface. Fourth, the route was not set up for the destination host. And the last is, an incorrect route was set up for the destination host. Okay, the solution is, if we, number one, if users cannot perform a telnet operation back to themselves using the local host name rather than loopback the problem is in the interface so I cited one example here so enter the net stat command with the dash i option to determine whether the local interface board is up here's the print screen of the command so net stat space dash one so we should be able to see this information here so the asterisk following qfao this one under the name uh, indicates that the interface is down use the ip config 8 command to initialize the interface okay so after doing that, the output from netstat space dash one verifies that the interface is up. You should be getting this. So the third common network error that we can encounter is the IP address conflicts. So its description is first, two devices on the network are assigned the same IP address. Second, getting an error message there is an IP address conflict with another system on the network and the third 
no longer have internet access or your connection becomes so intermittent to become unusable. So to resolve this issue, first, first step is look for overlapping IP address ranges on your DHCP server. So um, you need to type in the IP config slash all. Step two, look for duplicate type static IP address after doing the IP config slash all. So if there is, try doing this. So one way to hasten if a fix is by manually entering IP config slash release and IP config paste slash renew from a command prompt. So once you uh, restart your system, um, the issue should be resolved. But however, if the issue still persists, so we need to perform step three, find conflict MAC address. So to find the MAC address of the conflict device, use the address resolution protocol or the ARP. So you need to go to your core router and then use the command show space IP space ARP. It will look like this print screen. So if you were to see two IP addresses with, dif with differing hardware address, then you have to locate your problem device. Trace the physical location of the device. To do that, go to your switch and use the show mac address table command it will show it will show you this sample this print uh, note that you need to do this step for each switch that you have or you can also try this so you can get a clue about the vendor by checking the system log with the windows event viewer which you can get to via start then control panel administrative tools and then event viewer and try looking up for the dhcp error entry so the entry will list the network address or the actual uh, mac address which you can use to identify the conflicting device either by running ipconfig slash all on a windows system or checking the label on the back or underside of a non-pc device performing your ipconfig release and renew or restarting the other device should set things right so if not restarting your router should do the trick as it will reset the dhcp server and force all system to request a new ip ad so that's that should resolve the issue right uh, that's the end of our video hope you enjoy watching thank you